Everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be tackling the pantry. We're going to declutter, organize, and give it a makeover on a budget. We're going to be using some Dollar Tree items to not only get organized but make the space beautiful at the same time. So come along with me as we get started and I hope you find tons of inspiration. Let me show you what my pantry looks like and you guys let me know in the comments down below if your pantry looks like this. Mine is one hot mess. Now on the top shelf, I have some canned vegetables from last year that we'll be using. My husband has this big, beautiful garden every year that we get fresh vegetables out of and I freeze and can those so that we can have them throughout the year. So I don't have any room. I have to make some room for the new ones that I'm gonna be canning this year. Then this second shelf, oh my goodness, it looks like we just threw things in there with no purpose. We really don't know where anything is. It is so unorganized. And then we have spice overload. We have tons of spices that honestly we have probably bought multiple because we didn't know we had some in there. Now this cabinet shelf that I have here, I am going to be repurposing this, and I've had this for several years. It's sort of like a kitchen island cart. I will try to find something similar and leave a link in my description box below for Amazon if you guys are interested. And I'll also be using this very large plastic container that has wheels on it. That is how we store our cat food. I do like to keep my grocery bags. They make the perfect liners for your bathroom trash cans. So I have to figure out a more decorative way to store those. But you guys, this place is just an absolute nightmare. So the first thing I'm gonna do is pull absolutely everything out of the pantry and I'm gonna set it on my kitchen table. This only took about 20 minutes, maybe 15 to 20 minutes. And it was so satisfying once I got everything out of there. Now, I am okay with the wire shelves. They do not bother me at all. However, I do not like the color of the walls. So once I vacuum everything and remove any type of debris, I will be painting these walls a nice, beautiful, crisp white. I'm not gonna tape any of the wire shelving since I am painting it white and the metal shelving is white. If I do happen to get any on there, I can take a wet paper towel and easily wipe that off. Now I like to cut in first when I'm painting, which means you take the paintbrush and cut in all the areas that the roller can't get to. And I am going to be applying two coats. Then I can go over those other areas that the roller will reach, and this is super fast and super easy. Now, in between coats, a trick that I have learned over the years is to maintain your roller instead of having to change them out. You can take a plastic grocery bag and simply wrap it around the roller itself, and this will keep for a couple of hours in the house. It will keep your roller fresh. Now, if you are going to wait till the next day to apply your second coat, you can sit this inside of a refrigerator where it is extremely cool and it will be just as fresh of a roller the very next day. It always amazes me how just a simple coat of paint can really brighten up and transform a space. So while that paint is drying, I'm gonna head over to my kitchen table, declutter all of the items that I have taken out, throw away anything that is expired so I can start getting everything organized and put back into the pantry. I've already cleaned off that island cart and I've gone ahead and replaced it back into my pantry and utilized the two bottom shelves for my storage bags and aluminum foil. And I've also gone ahead and put my bread box in there, which now can hold my bread rather than a lot of spices. I have a spice rack sitting on top of that, which is a DIY in a previous video. And I'll have a link to that in my description box below if you're interested in seeing how I created it. For some of the larger spice containers that will not fit in your traditional spice racks, I'm using this plastic bin from Dollar Tree. They had these in various colors and they are pretty sturdy for $1.25 a piece. They'll hold six of the large spice containers, and I place these right beside the spice rack so everything is now in one location and I can easily find them. I have an abundance of mason jars, or you can also find mason jars at Walmart 
12 for about 13 or 14 dollars they are a great way to store your dry goods like flour and sugar you can clearly see how much you have left you can also add a beautiful label to the front or you can use a sharpie and write directly on the lid to store my mason jars i found these beautiful decorative bins from dollar tree and they'll hold a couple of the large mason jars and several of the small ones. I grouped them together so now I can find my dry goods all in one location and the decorative bins make it pretty. If you enjoy content like this, as well as budget-friendly home decor DIYs, I hope you will stick around by clicking on that subscribe button below this video. To all my current subscribers, thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. And if you'd like to visit me on my other social media accounts, all those links are in my description box below. Don't pass by Dollar Tree's dish pans because they serve as a great way to store your canned goods. They'll hold quite a few in one bin, and then you can use some of Dollar Tree's chalkboard tags with the clips and label each one and clip it right onto the handle. You can also store some of your packaged dry goods and label them as well. Now you have a beautiful way to display each of your items and you know exactly where they are and each thing is labeled so you know exactly what is in them. Another great Dollar Tree storage hack are these storage cubes. They are in the Dollar Tree Plus section for $3 a piece and they are pretty large. They're about 10 and a half, 10 and a half inches. And they're a great way to store some of your smaller items like pastas, sauces, and even your snacks. You can use one of Dollar Tree's tags to make a label for the front and tie it onto the handle. They come in various different colors and you can coordinate them with your other items in your pantry and they make a beautiful display for some of your smaller items. Another great find at Dollar Tree are these plastic bins. They are super sturdy and again, they come in several different colors. They are a great way to store some of your larger items like your vegetable oil or vinegar. They also are a great way to store some of your canned drinks and they will hold quite a few drinks. I labeled these with the same chalkboard clipped tags from Dollar Tree and I placed these on the floor since they are pretty heavy duty. Another item you can use are these self-adhesive hooks. They are a great way to hang up items such as aprons inside of your pantry so that they will be easily accessible. Now, if you're like me, you have a lot of clips for your chips or bags that you open. I can add these to the sides of those fabric bins, or you can use some of Dollar Tree's binder clips or some of the clips that you can find in their laundry section. And using some S hooks that you can find at your local hardware store, you can hang the S hooks directly on your wire rack, and then you can fold your chip bags add the clip and hang them on top of the S hooks. Slide them together and you can store a ton of chip bags or bags that have been previously opened and this will keep them fresh out of the way and you can clearly see what you have. Using some of Dollar Tree's napkin holders and some zip ties, I'm gonna zip tie two of them together at the bottom Clip that excess off and this will make a great way to hold your recipe or cookbooks. I stacked mine on top of the shelf and you can make a couple of these so you can store all of your cookbooks and everything is in one location. Now you can use any box that you already have. Dollar Tree does have some shipping boxes. This is one of those. This is a 10 by eight by six and I'm using some of their removable vinyl. I'm using gray because that's the theme I'm going for, but they have various different colors and patterns. I'm wrapping this around the box and pressing out any of the air bubbles because I wanna make a beautiful way to store those plastic grocery bags. So I'm gonna wrap this around the top half 
And then I'll use my scissors and cut the slits where the openings where each of the top part of the box will fold down as well as the bottom part. I'll go ahead and close the bottom part up and I'm going to use some duct tape to tape the bottom together. Now if any of your removable vinyl pops up you can use scotch tape to keep that down. And then I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to go ahead and close the top as well and I will seal that with the scotch tape so you won't be able to see it. Now their removable vinyl is pretty shiny so it's going to be easily wipeable. And I'm going to take just a regular oval wood piece that I had on hand. This came out of a package from Hobby Lobby. I used that so that I could trace around it to give me the design so I could use a utility knife to cut the opening in the top of my box. Then I can use some scotch tape to tape anything down to make sure it doesn't pop up. And this will be the way that I store my plastic bags. So I'm going to tuck the end down into the box, leaving both of the handles up. Take the next bag, pull it through the handles of the first bag, tuck that down, pull the handles up, and continue to do this until I get all of those plastic bags inside of the box. Make sure to leave your handles hanging out so you can add more bags or you'll be able to pull the handles to retrieve that bag and leave the next bag's handles out. I added a tag to the front from Dollar Tree and just tied a simple bow at the top. Now I have a decorative way and a convenient way to store all of those plastic grocery bags. Because I use mason jars, I also keep the boxes that they come in because they're pretty sturdy and after I can vegetables, I can put them back into the box and store them on the shelf but they don't look that good the way they are. So I took the same idea and used the same removable vinyl to wrap these boxes. Now I will wrap the bottom part because I set mine on my top shelf and you will be able to see that. So once I get the bottom wrapped, I'll get those sides wrapped and then anything that doesn't want to stay down, you can use your scotch tape and then I'll label the front of these with some Dollar Tree labels. Now I have a useful but decorative way to keep all of my canned goods. Okay, you guys, so here is a reminder of what the pantry looked like before. found inspiration in today's video and let me know in the comment section down below what is your favorite Dollar Tree item to organize with. Thank you so much everyone. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Please take care and I will see you next time.